Dr. Salma Aziz and today we're going to be talking about bunions. Bunions happen to be one of the most common foot problems that presents to our offices and it is one of the most common foot problems that patients suffer from. So before we get ahead of ourselves, let's talk about what a bunion is. Looking at our foot model, a bunion is a deformity that occurs at the level of the big toe joint. So if we're looking at the foot, this is the long bone of the first toe joint, and then this is the smaller toe. And when we're looking at a, at a good foot model, which this is, there needs to be good straight alignment between this long bone and this big toe, as seen here. A bunion develops when this long bone shifts towards the midline of the body and the big toe goes in the opposite direction, meaning towards the smaller toes of the foot. This is what we most commonly see as bunions and most patients out there recognize as a bunion. Now, we know what a bunion is. What causes this? Well, the number one cause of bunions is genetic predisposition, meaning someone in your family gave this to you, whether it was grandma, grandpa, mom or dad, that's where it came from. This is the most common cause, followed by mechanical or shoe gear irritation that causes bunions. Shoe gear irritation is the good old, we try to get our foot into that shoe that it doesn't really belong in because of the fit. Well, that can, over long term, cause bunions to develop. And then lastly, not so common, but trauma. Any kind of trauma to a foot can cause malalignment or the imbalance between the muscles and tendons of the foot, which ultimately long-term can cause bunions to develop. Now that we know what a bunion is, let's talk about what we can, uh, how we diagnose the bunion and what kind of treatment plans are available for bunions. Usually in a doctor's uh, setting, there should be both a clinical exam as well as a, a x-ray exam that should uh, be combined to allow for the best diagnosis of a bunion because the diagnosis or the proper diagnosis of a bunion ultimately determines the correct and proper treatment. Um, as I said, when we're looking at, at a bunion, we're looking at the movement of this long bone towards the midline of the body. Why is this a problem? Well, if we look at the, the big toe joint, it's, it has cartilage both at the head of the long bone as well as the base of the toe. And these two pieces of bone, or these two bones, move about each other, and what allows them to move about each other is this cartilage or padding. And when we have a misaligned bone, that cartilage or padding over time can actually be damaged or, or be wasted away, and this can create the pain that patients often come in with. So when assessing a bunion, the amount of damage done to this area is extremely, becomes extremely important. It is because of that that we uh, always advise patients to get a bunion diagnosed early on. The early detection or early diagnosis can offer you a vast variety of treatment options, whereas if you wait too long and this cartilage that we said is so important gets wasted away or damaged, then those options are no longer there. So we've been talking about treatment. What treatment options do we have available? The, the, Early detected bunion, one where there's minimal damage to the cartilage, usually we can treat with either a shoe gear modification, allowing patients to pick shoes that offer them better mechanical control of their foot, or if we uh, diagnose the underlying cause of the bunion to be more of a mechanical cause, where again, going back to our foot uh, model, where the alignment of the leg bones as well as the rear foot of the foot and the midfoot is uh, not optimal, then we can try to correct that lack of alignment by putting the patient's foot into a orthotic, a custom molded orthotic that takes into consideration all the mechanical um, imbalances and allows for the foot to function better. And when we have a better functioning foot, we ultimately allow the big toe to function better. Not only are we allowing it to function better, but more importantly, when we talk about detecting a bunion early on, with early detection, early treatment, we can actually slow down the progression of this bunion so that hopefully 
if we catch this early, there will never be a need for the more advanced treatment of a bunion, which becomes more surgical in nature. And we'll discuss that in, in great length. So again, early detection, early treatment, um, offers us a lot more uh, options. We talked about orthotics, sugar modification, and often padding as, as the means of, of treating it. However, if we have a bunion that ends up becoming more uh, uh, advanced in nature or there's more damage to the joint, as, as I indicated to the cartilage here, then surgery becomes more of a, a treatment option. And what we're trying to address with surgery is the most important thing is reduction of pain, which is why we're dealing with this problem to begin with, but also to realign this big toe joint. That is our goal. We want to take a long bone that's deviated and a toe that's deviated in the opposite direction and realign them in that proper position. With the uh, technological advances that we have today, the surgery is, is uh, doable and in an outpatient type of a setting, and it has a, a fantastic prognosis from recovery. Um, again, today we focused on the uh, diagnosis and uh, conservative treatment of bunions, um, and we will talk about surgical treatment in great detail at a later date. Thank you very much.